base beer that we're using for the Hot Rocks today is our Red Rocks beer. We brewed it for the 24-24. Um, it's a quite a, a deep red beer with a, a lot of Nelson Solvent hops in it. It's named after an area of the south coast just around from Wellington. Uh, where there's some really distinctive red rocks right down at sea level. We're down on the south coast of Wellington now, a couple of minutes over the hill from the brewery, and out past that headland out there uh, is the Red Rocks. Um, I love it down here, um, and Red Rocks was the inspiration for our beer, Red Rocks. So when we decided to do a Stein version of it, uh, we thought wouldn't it be great to grab the rocks from Red Rocks, superheat them and throw them in the beer. We did a little bit of research and it turns out the red rocks themselves are inclined to explode when you heat them up. Uh, so what we did do was go out a little bit further. There's a, a big seam of 250 million year old volcanic rock. Uh, we took some of those and used those in the brew. We're boiling the work conventionally in the kettle. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to load our mash tun up with these rocks and then run the hot work in there. Uh, and there'll be a tremendous caramelization of the wort sugars. So we're using Manuka wood, it should give it a really nice smoky character as well. Some of the rocks are up to 400 degrees centigrade. Um, so it should be exciting. The wood will go in, there'll be a huge explosion of heat, it'll caramelize around the rocks, and then we're going to throw a load of Nelson Solvent whole cone hops on top of that. So a hot rocks hop back. Looking forward to it. A lot of people will go wrong these days when they're starting beer because they fail to make themselves look like a total spanner. I can see it burning in your eye out there. I can see them dancing in the, in the dark fire. I can feel you burning me inside out there. That's what I want to see in the, in the dark. I thought somebody dumped a shopping trolley here. Been a hot rock back, now it's a hot rock hop back. More hops. And there we are, it's uh, the finished product. Red Rocks Reserve. Got an intense intense hop aroma from all of those Nelson Solvent whole cones that we chucked in at the end. Really nice, like the original. And then just like a really juicy, juicy malt character, I reckon with a, with a real hint of toffee. I think we'd be quite happy with that. Nice.